like I said, the, the main purpose is to support the weight down and support the weight when, you, when you're hitting it back to, to re rack it. And that it does well. I'm going to use this miter saw, but you can use a hand saw or whatever saw you got. This is a couple of two by fours by 10. And uh, I'm going to make a, a squat rack from this. And it's going to be loosely based off this bench, the dimensions of this bench and where I would like the squat rack to to uh to be i mean even put some safety bars in right where i think a safety bar should be based on you know stuff i've seen online so i decided to originally i wanted to have the um the rack inside and then I was going to put some um, support beams, some drop support, just so, you know, when you when, if you can't make it back up, you can just drop the weight somewhere about that le level. But I decided to, because of space, and I think I want to possibly put another area to, to bench on this. So I decided to set everything outside the uh, actual rack instead of having it uh, the, the inside the rack. I made these uh, these wall braces that I'm going to put everything on to support. And essentially, stick it to the wall like this. On this side, it'll be to the wall. Then on this side, it'll be to the rack. And I want you guys to notice that I've all centered the beam this is the beam right here and it's it's not on the center it's it's off to the side the reason i did that is because the measurements from this to this fourth one for uh studs down um was almost the same as this rack here except it was off about a few few inches so i wanted to be very similar to this one so i decided to just They're playing this, yeah, but don't be alarmed because once it's heavy, the 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 bulk of the weight is down and back. It's left and right. It's not. This is this is this is good. And plus, when the weight is on here, there's none of this wiggle or play. Now you can put another beam going across to add another left and right uh, stabilizer, but I don't think that's necessary. I think this is perfect. A little a little wiggle, not much. I may add some more nails uh, to stabilize it, but I don't really think that's necessary. I think this is perfect. Like I said, the, the main purpose is to support the weight down and support the weight when, you, when you're hitting it back to, to re-rack it. And that, it does well. That, there's no play in. No play going back. No play coming this way. Little play left and right. Eh. Even this... Even this head left and right play, and this is, and this is all earned, you know. But when it's heavy, you got the forty fives on there. It's not going anywhere, no left and right. But it got support going back, and it got support coming down, where it, where it counts. Look at it. Now this is just not finished with it. I might add some paint to it, but this is pretty much. Olympic bar. I plan on putting another for for a second secondary bench setup. Uh, so far, wood wise, if you want to count the a box of nails right here into the wall, I, I use three inch nails to go through this two by four, then a, a half inch drywall. And then into and then anchor far enough into the stud, and then these are just two and a half inch nails. I, well, I felt secure enough for this to 
to be on here. I'm I'm shaking it now. And it is just handled the weight well. But uh this is 45, 25, two tens, and the bar is 45. 10 pounder, another 10 pounder. It can handle the weight well. As you can see, no problem. Now I can't lift any of this personally. I just was putting it on there. So one day, if I'm able to lift that. Now it gives a little wiggle with no weight on it. But notice with the weight on it, there's no play. Make it custom to your size. You know, I see a lot of people put the, a thousand holes in there. And likely they may only use one or two of the holes. Find out what holes you're going to use and leave it at that, that height. I'm only going to use this for this. And find out where I like to have my bench press set up. And that'll be probably my my uh level bench press and i'll probably turn this into an incline permanent incline bench press and then i had two bench press areas i'm gonna get a pay the money to get another official bar and then i can save money i didn't have to pay any money on another rack or another uh setup i only had to spend money on an official bar and maybe you can save some money and get a an official uh look it's cobwebs in this way in, in my weights that's how much i lift just to let you know. Take some last official measurements. We got this. Let's get this on here. 13 inches. 13 inches. 10 inches. A total of 13 inches. Let's see. Where's this at? That's like what? Nine inches. I got that slanted just so it can it can fall. Right where it needs to be. Let's see this. Because this is, should be about 13 and a half. 13 and a half. I added a half inch because I didn't have drywall right here. So another half inch was added to compensate for the drywall. 57 inches for this uh the bar to support all the weight. For the 2 by 4 that's gonna support all the weight. For the back plate. The black the back plate support B. That's 73 inches. So six one. And then you double everything for the other side. Let's see how wide they are apart. They are roughly what? 49 and a half inches wide apart. You know. I guess you can always custom that exactly how you want it. But this is this is what I use. This is what I did. Works well. This part right here is extra. This little slope. You can you can hand saw, you can hand saw all of this. All the pieces that I got here. You can take your little time, but you know, hand saw is cheap. You know, you can get the hands. Oh, you can go to Menards. I mean, home, Menards, I think, but Home Depot, Home Depot for sure, will do each cut. Just tell them what you want to cut. The two by fours cut it, and they'll cut it. Um, but yeah, this cut is not necessary. I've seen other channels do it, do this cut to help drop the bar in, but as soon as you hit the back of that, you're going to come straight down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Also, I cut the other end down like that because I plan on adding another two by four all the way straight down to support a bench press. Uh, that I want to add to this later and it's going to be set for this height because this is where I set my bench press at for this height for this machine so just for those who's wondering I'm going to set it around about 37 and a half maybe maybe 38 that's right at 38 38 inches off the ground 2 by 4 okay, so, two, so 2 of those and plus probably another angle cut like this just to make it look fancy and then I'm finished adding to this Anytime time I add some, I just got to drill and add, boom, 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 I can build it all the way out. And I still may come out with a support. Might even do a bench build. I've seen a couple of those online. I got a lot of extra wood laying around. So I might even make a bench.